Hey guys, so I've got a few requests to do a comparison here between the uh, Galaxy A5 2017 and the Xperia X, uh, given that the Xperia X is about the same price nowadays as the uh, new A series. It was launched quite expensive, but I think uh, you can get them for now about 300 euro, so they do represent a uh, very uh, effective uh, price in terms of what you're getting. Uh, so we're just going to start them up at the same time here and have a look at the uh, comparison, see uh, which one gives you the most value for money. Uh, so with the Xperia X, I think we're getting a Snapdragon 650, 3 gigs of RAM, and a very decent camera, but no 4K video recording, which I did miss. Uh, we're getting 5 inches in terms of the screen size and also a fingerprint scanner on the side of the phone. Sony recently updated the phone to Android 7.0 as well, which is nice. Uh, you're only getting uh, Marshmallow obviously on the uh, new A phones. And you're also getting high-res uh, audio support and all the Sony good stuff that we do enjoy. Uh, so we're just going to start off here having a look at the day-to-day -day performance and see you know, which one is giving you the faster kind of uh, performance here. I think it's going to be quite close, to be honest. Uh, but we will, we will see. We will see indeed. Uh, so let's just start them off here. So, so far Sony seems to be ahead here, which is nice. I do enjoy seeing Sony ahead when it comes to comparison here with Samsung. Completely destroying the Samsung phone when it comes to the speed here. So, uh, camera. Usually camera can be a bit slow on Xperia, but you can see about comparable there. And uh, we do have as well some clock. So nearly every single one has opened up faster here on the Xperia X phone. Very nice optimization of the Snapdragon 650. We're going to have a look at some games here which one can get into the game faster. You can only play this on one device. So, you know, whichever one gets in, gets in. For the display, I think we we're getting a full HD display with the Bravia engine. We do have it on the vivid mode. I don't think it's quite as bright as the Samsung panel but it's still very decent nevertheless oh it looks like the A5 has won here when it comes to logging into this game first so we get an error which is weird I don't know what that error is you can see the Xperia a little bit behind there let's just try another one gotta say uh, the splotchiness that we did have with the A5 seems to have dissipated a little bit in terms of you know the coca-cola test that we did do so maybe the build quality isn't that as bad as I thought it was there is a little bit of splotchiness at the bottom but it seems to have self healed here which is what we like to see uh, which one is opening faster here looks like the Xperia X is gonna open this a little bit faster Yes, it is. Very nice. And we are left waiting a little bit with the A5. So, you know, like I said, you know, the uh, Xperia X has definitely come down in price. Uh, you know, it's very affordable nowadays. Uh, obviously, Sony has its current flagship, the XZ, I think that was the A5 that time. So 2 1, who's going to get the last game? And I think we're getting a successor to the 
XA soon from Sony so hopefully we'll be getting an X flagship uh, successor as well uh, it looks like the games then load a bit faster on the A series phone which uh, I wasn't expecting actually you know usually it goes one way or the other but you can definitely see here the Exynos processor uh, 7870 seems to be better when it comes to the games I'm going to look at the speed of the Wi-Fi here both are connected to 5G and you can see very uh, average score here very Snapdragon 6 series uh, in terms of that, as you can see, and I think the A series is going to beat it comfortably from what I've seen. Yeah, so you can see no contest here. So, if you're into your internet speed, that uh, could be something to consider. One thing to bear in mind as well that we get uh, the old connector here at the bottom which uh, is a little bit annoying. Uh, we do have the new one on the newer generation Sony phones. I'm just going to open up a few web pages here so uh, we can see the optimization. So very fast here on the right. And I think the uh, Sony then, when it came to loading the full page, so look at who loads the pictures here. Yeah, so I think A5 was a bit quicker to load the pictures, but uh, we'll just click on a link just to make sure here. Sony with the uh, link there. Let's just try GSM Arena. Sony again. So if you ask me, I think Sony is a little bit better here when it comes to the web browsing. Only just seems to load the content a little bit faster, which is nice. Uh, again, I do think the display is a little bit better on the A5 though in terms of the brightness etc. But uh, we're just going to round off looking at the multitasking here. See how the Xperia X handles Nugget. So obviously you do get the multitasking which is good. And it looks like it's a little bit faster here than the... Uh, the A5 when it comes to coming back up into things and I did see some reloading there on the left I think the Xperia X Compact also has uh, the same specs as the Xperia X so for those of you interested in that you know you can see the result here probably going to be the same and you can see camera a little bit faster on the A5 there. Let's just check out the games. Both of them are reloading, I think, the games here, which is uh, not what I'd like to see. But they do both have 3 gigs of RAM, so not the most, obviously. Kept this one in memory, though, which is good. This one did reload. And we do have Modern Combat. Didn't keep this one in memory. So I think the memory management is going to be quite sketchy here when it comes to the games on both of them. So do bear that in mind. See, you kept two out of four in memory, which is weird. Usually it doesn't keep any of them in memory. But I think, I think overall it did better than the A5. Uh, which is good in terms of the multitasking as well as the apps opening and web browsing. 
so it's just the Wi-Fi speed the A5 does have over the Xperia X uh, as well as the fact that we do have type C uh, you know we do have a slightly uh, more resistant build in terms of the dust and waterproofing the Xperia X doesn't have that unfortunately uh, but uh, nevertheless, you know, I think the Xperia X is still a, a fantastic alternative here to consider. Uh, you know, if you were not impressed with the A5 in terms of the specs, it's still coming with, uh, you know, all your Sony stuff in terms of the, uh, you know, uh, audio settings like uh, high res audio, etc. In terms of the camera, uh, I think you're going to get more settings on the. Sony as well it is a 20 odd megapixel camera, very high quality in terms of the stabilization and video recording. I definitely put my money on the X being a better camera overall. But if you're into your screen and battery life, I think the A5 is probably your man there. Uh, it does have a bigger battery than the Xperia X, which is a little bit tepid in that regard. Uh, and uh, in terms of the software, you know, Sony's done quite well here to keep the Android nice and uh, clean in terms of the build. Uh, whereas you do get a more kind of airy experience on the A5. I'm guessing you are getting the uh, multitasking as well. So, uh, you know, I think uh, really uh, it's uh, worth considering still the Xperia X if, uh, you know, you were not impressed with the A5 as I said. Uh, but probably worthwhile waiting to see what Sony does uh, produce. Uh, you know, at the uh, Mobile World Congress, which is due very shortly, might be looking to replace this uh, with something better. But uh, yeah, just a quick little video here. Hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.